Welcome to another Blood Angels painting tutorial. In this one we're going to look at the basic tactical squad. So uh, this particular squad I painted up very fast. There's going to be some core troops. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to use uh, tactical marines in my Blood Angels army, but the idea here is that uh, just to fill in my army list. So very basic paint job and we'll just walk you through the different colors. So as you can see there's kind of a, a black or gray bolt gun, red and then some flesh and that's basically all there is to it. A couple other details like uh, purity seals um, but we won't worry too much about that. So what I did I started off you can see in the base there is with a red spray paint um, wasn't any special spray paint just a flat red and as you can tell it kinda came out like a maroonish color and what I did is I went over everything with a watered down uh, GW blood red and so uh, just to help get the tones up there and even out any areas that might have missed with the spray so they were obviously already um, glued together and uh, these guys in particular were actually uh, stripped down using uh, brake fluid cleaner or sorry brake uh, brake fluid um, there's lots of different cleaners try checking out uh, different tutorials for that I won't go into that in this one but uh, you can strip models quite easily and uh, using less noxious chemicals than brake fluid um, so check those out all right, so here's the the squad kind of ready to go. As you can see, I did this pretty quick, and there's some spots down there that you uh, that aren't probably done quite as well as they should be. But uh, there's my blood red base coat. And the other thing that you can notice on these guys is I've mixed in some blood angel bits from the Death Company squad, just some shoulder pads here and there. All right, so what I've got done now is a wash of bal red. Um, so I just went over everything just to help darken it all up and uh, that's going to deepen the colors and allow me to, to highlight again. This is a, an old eyedropper bottle that I've got uh, that's filled with some watered down GW Blood Red and I use that kind of for my layering. So I've gone over things again with that Blood Red. Um, it's kind of trying to get an even color on all of the, uh, the flat areas and you can see that I've left the, the kind of the creases there uh, for the dark areas. You can see there from above. Okay, so now what I'm doing is a bit of a dry brush of uh, blaze orange. And so you can see how it doesn't look the greatest on the flat areas. But what I'm trying to do is pick out some of the, uh, the edges. And that's building up there. Um, this is just to help uh, get some more highlights going. And then what I'm doing is giving it another wash of Bal Red. So once that's all done, the guys are pretty much ready to go uh, for the next colors. And so I've got uh, Adaptus Battle Gray base coat there for anything that's going to be black and bolt gun metal uh, for any of these silver bits. And I've also gone through and done the kind of the hoses in between their, the joints on their armor. And uh, any of the, if the guys have the eagle on their crest, and then Talarian Flesh on the skin for the sergeant. And I've added some uh, basing there, which is just uh, coffee grounds or espresso grounds that are, have been used. And Camry Brown for the rim around the edge of the base. Okay, so uh, now we're just doing the washes. So the uh, the flesh gets Ogren Flesh wash. The uh, dark areas are going to get a couple washes of Bad Ab Black just to bring it right back down and the silver area is going to get Bad Ab Black as well. Uh, this, these are the uh, GW transfers on the shoulders and um, yeah, some of this one here I had to trim just so it would fit around that thing on the shoulder pad and uh, that's about it. So uh, the eyes I did those with uh, Scorpion Green and then a wash of Thraka Green and I'm going to do the purity seals with um, Denob Stone washed with Devil and Mud. And the seal itself will be uh, Warlock Purple uh, washed as well. So uh, there you see them all done. I put the, uh, the yellow uh, single drop on the one shoulder. And um, the sergeant gets a red, or sorry, it gets the yellow on black. And the other guys just get black on red. And add a little bit of static grass to the base. And we're done. So uh, that's not the greatest picture, but there you can see the guys. Um, these guys paint up really fast, get them to tabletop level. Uh, not going to win any awards with these ones, but you're going to have a tabletop army done pretty quick. 
So the key with that is uh, trying to minimize the levels of highlights and using washes, um, and especially on the grays here, using washes a couple times to, to do all the work for you. And uh, there we go. And this guy here can be your second sergeant if you combat squad these guys. That was the idea of having a second guy without a helmet. And um, yeah, see, I didn't even bother doing uh, the text on those. Just uh, wash. And uh, these guys are done with a single melter in the squad. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out my other videos uh, and check out my blog. It's like watching paintdry.blogspot.com for uh, updates, work in progress. And uh, feel free to comment, like, share, or whatever. And uh, see you next time.